Welcome back, attractive and well-educated. Watch to a brand new episode of Neandercon, the most exceptional here on Caveman and Cosmos, the best version of civilization ever made. Last time we left off, there was some lunar base in your face, uh, and this time we're just going to be chilling with it. So if you're excited to see what happens today, remember to like, subscribe, do all those other lovely things that help support the channel. Go on down to our link tree link in the description. Find all the other places that we do stuff. Support us there. Share this video anywhere you can, and if you're especially attracted and well-educated watcher, seriously consider going on down to our Patreon via that link tree link in the description and pledging even just one dollar a month to help support the cause and join the mighty mighty ranks of Mike the Microphone, our number one patron of all time, and Tolk Panzer, our number one watcher of all time. We get your name in the game just like Mike Topia and Tiro over here. Uh, as you see, we name our cities after patrons, so, uh, go pledge, please. Thank you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Nobody cares, Holly! Uh, right. Was this the one where we have, like, basically nothing left, and then, yeah, okay, it is. In that case... Then we have basically nothing left over here, also, in Naniwaya, correct? Yeah. Okay, so... Whatever... Make that nightclub... Make that nucleic acid lab... Uh, make that Neutrino Observatory. So we know we've said it before, but Neutrino Observatories are super, super cool. Like, oh my freaking god, if you ever have the chance to go to a Neutrino Observatory, just fucking do it. Just do it. Just don't question it, don't be like, ooh, a Neutrino Observatory, I don't know, that's kind of sciencey stuff that's a little bit- No, do it! Just do it! It is the coolest shit! Ever. Okay, now that we got that done, back to the game. So, yeah, um, yeah, so we're gonna get that Neutrino Observatory. Let's just go. Uh, let's get... Right? Let's get that commercial spaceport up and going for Windabona. Move on. Lunar base in your face. Yes. As you do. As one does. Alright. Get that spaceport up and running. Within the year. Get that sea tree going. To make humanity happier and healthier across the entire planet. As one do. Protein lab. Secret protein lab. Secret pro. We'll see ourselves out. It. It's cool, actually. <laughs> okay, one moment. We've got this boy all right here. So this here is probably, like, the appropriate spot for another space station. These constructor ships will be consumed, but right now they are just doing their business. As you do, as one does. No Mars roads, or no uh, moon roads yet, sadly. We're getting asteroid mining about to go, so that's that's pretty cool. Philosophy the Glorious is the most advanced. Imagine. Who would have thunk it? Orbital Hotel. Is it just the Orbital Hotel? Seems that way. You know what that means. Windabona becomes a supply producer, like everybody else, after that orbital hotel is put up. Let's get that place in Canterbury taken care of. 
take care of that karaoke club and Nora. Then go to hedge fundy goodness. Make a space station. And then move on to the... Oh, what's this? We don't know what it does. But it does do a thing. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. We're pretty excited. We got lunar bases. That's more than America has. That's more than we have IRL. Like, we're not even technically as advanced as in, in real life right now, but we have our damn lunar bases. And then asteroid mining, which will probably be useful on the moon. Pro probably. We imagine. Lose hydro plant. Let's get the vacation resorts up and running. Constructo ship. Zoom. <laughs> All right, uh. Right. Yeah, go to Samarab. Get that security center up and running. Get... Get that prediction market up and running. Go to this dark matter detector and build it. Make this molecular biology lab, as one does. Give all speed to a laser eye surgery clinic. Create a lunar base in your face. Uh, actually. Requires root, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, Bertagala, let's hit that power area just to say we can. Good, good. Pixel Town grows. This is not so bad. This is pretty good, even. We can dig it. Not really much to do, though. Other than sit back and enjoy the spoils of our success. As somebody takes over, probably Polynesia takes over the Aborigines. Kabloink. And uh, Kabroink. Excellent. Now when Debona will start producing them. It's all going according to plan. Let's just push forward. Gastronomy lab. Sid's sushi restaurant. One constructor ship. Let's just see how this all works. But yeah, we're not... We're not super hopeful we can do anything with the moon just yet. We don't even have, have asteroid mining. But we're moving toward it. Moving toward it good. It only took us 1,200 years postmodern day. But we think there's probably at this point uh, a glitch with the timing... Uh, we should probably be doing several turns per year like we were in the modern day. And just stop doing that at some point. Why would we want to let Nelphiton into Brazil? That's ridiculous. 
and almost certainly cannot be the cause of anything caused by anything other than trickery. Considering that Nelphiton is literally our second ever city ever. Let's just... Good to see that Canterbury is doing its thing. But we do need to get Samyville. Get that data center up. Hmm, organs. Bowling alley. Electrolyte cells. Fish. The fleet that will one day take over this continent. Okay. Plus two. Also plus two. In that case, we're going to go up there. Good enough, right? Hit that, hit up that bowling alley. Keep going. Should we? Mega cities. Yeesh. Should we? There's only one Civic that we want to change at all, period. And that is that, and it's our money Civic. We want to, we want to change post-scarcity's economy. Yeah. Very cheaply, even for, yeah, post-scarcity, good. Change to digital. Eh. Better foreign trade routes, less inflation, more money in all cities. It would be one turn of revolution. It would basically be the last thing that we would get for a long time. We're gonna do it! The first anarchy in forever. It's over. Yay! This will half our inflation, which might, might be able to help. Anarchy! The word for that time when nothing good happens. Nobody gets anything done, and that's why anarchy is a government type. Is not a government type, because anarchy by definition is a lack of government. And anarchists that actually want societal anarchy are dumb, because it will just end up being, you know, democracy. All right, let's do this. You're Jenkins. So that was actually a good idea. Uh, it helped our money situation a little bit, but actually quite a little bit. And we bet it'll start helping our money situation even more. Or not, we could be wrong. One moment. 1.5 million? Okay. We'll do that one. Here, take some money and go to recycling. No, we're the one in charge. Obviously, we are the one who should be in charge of the world, too. Our money is just as bad as it ever was. Great. So fun. We'll probably still just get richer and richer every turn all the same.
What do we got here? Uh, you and you and then all the way down to the bottom and you through you. Ha ha! Let's get that Malaysian culture out really quick. Say that we did. At least that we got it out quicker than some shit. Alright, moving forward. Well, we do have digital currency now. We are just ahead of the game now. We, we've, we've got a better standard of money. Even if that isn't helping our economies, or so it seems. Next is post-scarcity, which is like, mmm, nice. And we're still going up in money by like 3 million a turn, so uh, doesn't matter. Nothing that would seem to matter actually matters like you think it does. And we are fine with this. Kablam! Hippo is gonna move forward as yet another supply hub. Because supply hubs are nice. Alright, let's get that dark matter detector up. Let's get that commercial airport up. Get that science symposium up. Hippo's going to be a big target for our improvement now. Become better, hippo! Do it! What do we got here? Right, help them become Malaysian. Malay culture. That should be really good, actually. Much easier. Good, good. Not too long till asteroid mining now. Uh, gravity wave detector. Meadow. Oh, whoops. That was an oopsie on our account. We need to get up to this Neon Boutique. Really push the supplies for this city. Kablam. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, well, actually, we're about to say it doesn't matter, but it kind of did, but that's fine. Go and take care of the city of Valence. They might even be able to bring us out of this. We bet, we bet that one turn of anarchy was like a year of like econ economic crash or whatever before the system quickly bounced back after a year. Nobody got their lives destroyed or anything. It was just a one-year recession, and then boom, right back into the four. As you do. Like one does. We have 85% of the world's population exactly. Not gonna lie, pretty stoked about that. Move over. Get those gravity wave detectors up. Get that neutrino observatory going. Because again, oh my god, go to a neutrino observatory and see that. Holy crap, it's so freaking cool.
So cool! Oh, not what we expected, but that's fine. Give Hippo another building anyway. Alright. Keep it up. It's funny, too, because we only have one city that's even a million people. So, realistically speaking, it's like that one book, Sapiens or whatever, where, you know, the Neanderthal population never at any point grows past, like, like, 40 million people or some nonsense like that, but somehow is, like, way more advanced than humans at the same age, and we're all very, like, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's, that's basically what we just did. Alright. And you can become part of the system. You just wait a turn. Yeah! Alright. Let's get one more turn of this and then finish it off. Very, very good. Seven times the amount of points that the next guy is. Oh, and look at that! Australia, the Aborigines have finally been defeated. The thorn in our side is gone for good. Now there are only four civilizations in the entire game. Ooh, yes. It's a good day to be a Neanderthal. A good day, indeed. Sure. There no koalas were nocturnal. We don't think they are, actually. Whoops. Dark matter detector. Let's get the Taiwanese culture a little push. Let's get that LSD lab up and running in Nora. Get to that dark matter detector again. Uh, gravity wave detector here. Finish it off. Let's it'll take two turns. Alright, well, if you liked what you saw today here, remember to like, subscribe, do all those other lovely things that help support the channel. Go on down to our link tree link in the description. Find all of the other various different places that we do stuff support us there. Share this video anywhere you can. And if you're an especially attractive and well-educated watcher, and if you stayed this long, you almost certainly are, seriously consider going on down to our Patreon and pledging even just $1 a month to help support the cause and join the mighty, mighty ranks and make the microphone our number one patron of all time. And Toll Bands are our number one watcher of all time and get your name in their game. That's right, this game. Because after all, Weeping Shades and Darn Ellington are named after people. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for coming, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and of course, remember to help each other. Bye!